Hi mateys, it's Dazzling Latte and welcome back to Who I See. Okay, so you got any info about Isaac? Does the name Isaac ring any bells? Isaac. Oh, oh sorry. Fuck. I guess that word is plastered all over my face because she continues. Do you know where he is? This is a motel, not a family house. How should I know? She doesn't let up her gaze, however. Whatever. Not like it's the first time anyone stared at me with, uh... I peek an eye open to look at her expression. Strange. Not annoyance. But disappointment? Yeah, not the first time. Why are you looking for him? You two get mixed up into some kind of trouble? What can I say? I open an eye, her so voice is soft all of a sudden. No, not soft. It's hoarse, raw, exhausted, and not bothering with any pretense of toughness. We did some stupid things together, and somewhere in there, some fucked up shit happened. I need to talk to him. Do you know where he is? No. Ugh. But if she finds him... What if she... This is too much. I don't want to think about this. I shouldn't have to. I dealt with enough shit today already. Meaningless chatter of some mediocre movie puts me back into a lull. I could barely think straight enough to answer her. Good. I don't know where. He, uh... He has to do, you know... Yeah. <laughs> I peek at her, expecting to see a face of frustration. Instead, it's like seeing Alice looking at a new toy. Yikes. Okay. Peter is really suspicious of me, but won't call the police. Isn't that weird? Huh? Not really. Poli Peter's called police before, but called him too many times, and the reputation goes down the gutter. I mean, Peter probably jumps at his own shadow, but... Hmm. Wouldn't that make him want to call the police more? Or is he worried about this place rep? Place's rep. Uh, I don't get what he sees in this place, but it is his. It's impressive when you think about it, but man. Peter, you're nice enough, but your lack of spine makes me want to vomit. I hope I can raise Alice to be better than him. Peter, please try to get some help. Or get out of that box. Or something. God. Gotta remember to yell at him about cleaning later. He's all nice with his words, but I mean, what? Is he gonna get attacked while mopping? <laughs> I don't know nothing about it. Okay. Thud. Yo, yeah, stop bouncing that damn ball. Fuck. I ah, shit. Oh, I'm so sorry, baby. I didn't mean... Wait. Wait. No, this isn't Alice. Alice is that... It's that stranger. I... Don't bounce that thing around, you fucking brat. I'll kill you. Maybe one day I'll worry about easily... How easily those... These... Those... Those words fall out of my mouth. No. Even if I don't mean them. The stranger laughs. Loud and full of life. It's tiring to even hear. How can she laugh? How does she have the energy to not just lay down and stop trying anything? I like you. That makes one of us. <laughs> you know, hey, you know anything about Jonas? He, maybe he mentioned me? He's an insecure prick. <laughs> Who needs to stop trying to prove he's tough and start trying to stop being such a problem for everyone else? I don't know anything about him and you. I hope you're not as big a... a, a big a bitch... <laughs> as big a bitch as she is. But who knows? Is that good enough for you? I chuckle, 
but it sounds like rocks scratching against one another. Almost like nails on a chalkboard. Yikes. Something wrong with her throat? It's a good laugh. I'll admit that scared me for a second. Not that I'll let this witch know. <laughs> but it's odd. I could have sworn I've seen that on TV before. A performance on TV that I watch so much. Hmm. I guess it could just be a coincidence, but still. Bravo! Bravo, you lunatic! <laughs> Carla takes a bow. I get the feeling that the TV is distracting you from answering my questions. Don't turn it off. But you're not even watching. I expect to see a mess of brown hair when I open my eyes, but it's just that. I don't have to explain myself to a bratty stranger. The television fills the silence with a meaningless noise. I don't have to think about anything. If only for a little while, the TV soothes me. The TV and, uh, well, if only Alice understood. Or perhaps it's better that she never does. Click. The stranger presses the power button. I smile. The game show hosts continue to blabber on the screen. I did some rewiring a while back. None of the power or volume buttons on that TV work. I also put enough duct tape to make sure it can't be unplugged. Only the remote controls it now, but nice try. Ha. You got some sort of special invisible remote? I don't see it anywhere. Fell under the couch, I think. So, uh, good luck getting at it. Hmm, we'll see. Okay. So that looks... Oh, wait, 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 wait! Wrote is under the couch, but uh, come here to pick it up, and I'll take that knife of yours and gut you with it. All right? She gives a smile that is way too big and giggles. I like you. Ugh. <laughs> she gets behind the couch, and her hands grip the back of it. Five pale fingers near each side of my head. I don't look up, but I can feel her looming over me. A tiny voice in my head screams at the thought of her strangling me, but all I can do is sigh. Her hands don't move, they just rest on the couch. I guess we just watch the TV in silence. For just a little while, nothing else is happening, nothing needs to be done, I am at peace. For her though, who can say? When she backs away, I already begin to forget. Forget the strange moment occurred. Do I have a th Man! I don't have the remote. Crap. Alice! Huh? Do you know how I could get your mommy to leave the room? Uh... <laughs> feel kinda weird. Uh, I, uh, mm. Do you need something from her? I just need a teensy insy betty thing. The remote. Uh, I feel cold. Did PD blast the AC? Silly PD. Uh, the, uh, no, I mean... Mommy's probably really tired right now, and, uh, I don't think she'll like it if you take the remote. There's a lot of little white dots all over my arms now. How cool is that? Maybe it's a secret superpower. I should focus on what to do with that. I mean, there's nothing good on TV right now, and you could just play with me. Why not just play with me? I I have a lot of fun, and I know a lot of jokes, and shh. She ruffles my hair and pats me on the head. It's really nice, but when I look up, she isn't smiling. 
Don't worry, I'll play with you later, okay? I don't like the face she's making. It's the same one Peter looks Peter as when he looks at me and mommy. Promise? She smiles a big, big smile full of so many teeth. That's better. I promise. Just need to make your mom exit for a bit. Haha. <laughs> okay. Bam! Hand against the glass. Oh, Peter! Hmm, maybe if I stand still long enough she, without saying anything, she'll get bored and ignore me. You know, Sylvia? Syl? What could anyone possibly have to do with her? I stay silent. I think she needs to exit her room for a bit. She looks like she's going to die on that couch at, <coughs> at any second. Not so good for this motel, right? <laughs> That's how she looks every day. Four part-time jobs and 13 hours a day will do that to you. Poor thing. Anyways, I just keep looking at the paperwork on my desk. Syl always pays her rent, so anything she, anything else should be irrelevant to me. I glance at her to see if she's bored enough to leave me alone, but she's still smiling like she's going to mug me through the glass. Well, if you won't help me, I'll just have to do my business in there with her presence. What? Something in that room will help me help lead me to Isaac. I don't think so would notice if I borrowed it, but she seems she sees but if she sees me take it well, things could get messy. What? No you can't. Oh sorry, Peter. But I'll just have to. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, one second. Just, uh... To hell with this asshole. Damn it. But I can't let a resident get hurt. No, no, no. If anyone found out I let it happen, I'd be screwed. Think, think, think. Oh, uh, that's... You want Syl to leave the ram? There's, uh, a way to do that. Oh? Tell me. Well, listen. Syl works really, really hard, okay? Every day she slogs through the front door like she's going to fall over and die, so I mean she's exhausted and Alice can be really, um, I mean the girl upstairs, she can be quiet, uh, they, uh, spade up toothpick. If Alice goes into the room, Syl will leave. Silence. A very uncomfortable one at that. Oh, I feel like my stomach's all twisted. Carla's just staring at me, blankly. Finally, a normal expression from this bozo. Syl is very tired and just needs some time alone is all. If Alice goes into the room, Syl will probably make up something and go out into the hall. You could just tell Alice to go into the room. I think you're missing a part, toothpick. Children's tears aren't on my menu today. It's not my problem. None of this is, or should be, so just talk carefully to her, I guess. Wait, shit. Did I just yell at her? Carla leans forward. Oh god, she places a single finger on the glass. She shows me all of her teeth in a cruel mockery of a smile. In front of me, there is only devilish malicious intent. It is your problem. You'll see. <laughs> She backs off. What a freak! If Syl doesn't leave the room and just stays with Alice, then nothing will happen. Yes! Come on, Syl. Okay, so let's go. Carla! Is it time to play? She gives me a small smile, but it looks tired. Looks a lot like mommy, actually. Yes. But I need your mom to exit for a little bit. So... You should go in and tell your mom to get out. Uh, I don't think I could do that. Ha <laughs> ha. Silly Carla. Sure you can. You'd be surprised. No, I can't. Ha ha ha. 
yes you can. Just be sure to jump around a lot and make some noise doing it. Have fun with it. She'll be so impressed that she'll definitely do as you say. You can have the couch all to yourself. Jump on it like a bouncy castle. I know that mommy will just look at me with that weird look. She'll frown, but not all the way frown. And smile, but not all the way smile. She won't get angry, but she'll just look at me like... She never wants to play. She never wants to look at me. But I guess this counts as playing with Carla. Maybe I'm fun enough for her! Right? Okay. Whee! Oh god, the hallway's so quiet. For god's sake. There's just trash all over the floor. A broken bottle? God, I hope Alice didn't touch that. What a fucking ab abhorrent ship hole. This, just look at this place. I live here? Alice lives here? Alice. She just barged in and ugh. I just couldn't take it. I've barely had any rest at all. I've worked God knows how many hours. Why can't she just learn to stop messing with me? I'm making money to get her out of here, damn it. To get her a good life. If only she could just... Hey! Shut up, I'm busy thinking. About what? Why are you messing with me? What makes you think that? That right there. The, the energy in your voice, the sing-songy tone, that smile, what's wrong with you? She looks at me as if she's seriously considering an answer, but then she shrugs. I'm just a happy gal. I'm alive and loving it. Every breath I take is a miracle, and every second I get to talk and do anything is... She takes in a deep breath and breathes out in such a content way. I can't remember the last time I breathed like that. I hope Alice breathes like that. If she's not now, then later. When I, I take us to a better place. When everything is better, she'll understand. She'll be happy. Ah, what a delight. Why not? So why not bounce around with every step, huh? Whatever. You're just a freak, I guess. Huh. <laughs> Ah. A stranger comes in close and her fingers tiptoe on the wall near my head. Do you like solving puzzles? I like puzzles. I sigh in her face. No effect. I'm not in the mood for small talk or for looking at you or for acknowledging your existence. She makes a pouty face. It would be cute if it wasn't for her tangled black hair, sickly pale skin, and muddy, torn up clothes. Yikes. Oh, I think she tried to ask me something or whatever. I'm too blanked out to say much of anything, just how I like it. Okay, let's go on in here. See if Alice is okay. She ruffles my hair like Isaac does. And like Peter used to do before. Okay, yeah. Carla looks under the couch. I can barely hold myself from laughing. She keeps sticking her arm around in there. And I let out a giggle. Carla stands up looking at me. Alice, do you have the remote? Yep. I guess you wouldn't... You would want something to do with it. If you wanted mommy out of the room, no other reason than to get this. She wouldn't care about anything else. She gives a chuckle. I sure hope she's having fun. Very smart of you, Alice. Can you give me the remote, please? Nope. Teehee. You still have to play with me. Her fingers tighten into a fist, but then they're loose again. Is she twitching? She should get that checked out. All right, what do you want to play? Hmm. Guess what the happiest day of my life is. If you guess right, it'll be the most amazing thing ever. So guess, ha ha. When you met me? <laughs> nope, tee hee, try again. Okay.
Oh yeah, okay, I get it, I get it. Okay, so I'm gonna end this episode here. Um, for now I have to go, but until then, smooth sailing to you and your pirate crew.